Hello there, Sarah from 17 once again, introducing you to my Syndicate Hard Difficulty CEO Rank video walkthrough. This is Milestone 11 and this is the boss Ramon, or Ramon, depending on how you pronounce it. And this is probably one of the hardest levels to get the CEO Rank on because there is nothing to do. These are the first batch of enemies that you'll get to fight. You'll get to fight one more batch at the end, but it's... It's breach powers and nothing else, so you've got to be real quick and real on the ball to even hit them. And then everything else is a boss fight, so you don't have a lot of opportunities to get the points. So right now, I'm looking around the environment for anything to breach, anything to mess with, to try and boost myself up. And you'll notice that fight just then with these guys, I could have ran up to them both and killed them with the executions, but instead uh, I used the breaches on them, I tried to get headshots and things, and it's the best way to approach this area because you might just get a couple more points than you would have got before. And uh, I dropped down the stairs like that to save some time, even though I wasted time at the start looking around because I'm literally thinking of anything I can do to get better ranks. Because... I failed this level twice before I got the, the CEO, so you want to always try and get the perfect breaches. And uh, the, the trick to this is killing the boss quick. If you can kill him quickly, which is kind of awkward to do because it's really random, you'll be fine. If you don't, you're in trouble. But the longer the fight goes, maybe you'll be able to time the, the perfect breach of the missiles he fires at you. I couldn't do it. It seemed to be super anal, and uh, I was no good at getting that timing down, so... I had to beat him really quick, and that's what I did. And the the main strategy is you need to try and do as much damage as you can as quickly as possible. And I know that sounds obvious, but it's more so on this battle because if if you don't do enough damage, it makes him go into the second phase of the fight sooner, and and it puts you in a world of trouble. And the, the where the luck is involved, which makes this even remotely challenging, is. It's random where he jumps, and unless he jumps onto the crane when you've got a bunch of missiles following him, you're never going to do enough damage to end the fight. But this is it anyhow. He'll start on there every time, he'll jump in a random direction, and then he'll fire a, a missile at you. And this first missile is easy, because you'll not have to fight over, you know, breaching it. But later on, he'll start breaching them back once you do it, so it's kind of like back and forth. And you'll notice, on impact of the missiles, I go into darts mode to try and get the damage buff. I do not know if it makes a difference, it just made me feel a little bit better when I was playing. But before the missile goes off, go into darts mode and try and do some extra damage. That platform is now redundant because of how much damage we've hit it with. And what you're waiting for is the first time he fires the big barrage of missiles at you. And what you want to do is you want to stand in one corner. You want to wait for him to fire. As soon as he fires, you want to go into darts mode. You want to strafe to the opposite side. And you want to breach as many missiles as you can. So there you go. Strafe to the opposite side. Keep on breaching. Breach as best you can. Uh, if these missiles hit you, they'll insta-kill you, and look at that, he landed on the platform, all the missiles followed him, and I managed to get the breach and kill him. In what was that, 30 seconds, 40 seconds? That is the perfect boss fight performance, pretty much. It is not always going to end that way. I've had fights against this guy that lasted 20 minutes of firing missiles back and forth, because he just wouldn't do what I wanted him to do. It's a lot of luck, and... Just a lot of knowledge, but fingers crossed you'll you'll be able to, to beat him without any trouble. But the first time I got to him, I, I would say he's the hardest boss on the game, because he gave me some real issue, because I couldn't breach the missiles back at him when he did the big barrage, so I was just evading them, and it was taking forever. It was not a good fight at all. But once you've stolen his chip, yeah, you're going to follow Rosario Dawson, and as soon as you get into the ship, as it's pulling away, you do have the ability to use some of the breaches. So you want to use all of them. And uh, try and get perfect breaches if you can, because they'll just buff your points that little bit more. So you're on the dropship. The dropship doors will shut. And as soon as they shut, those doors in front of you will open. Use the breach. There you go. Do a quick suicide on that guy. Change to the next one. Get a quick backfire. And then try and get a quick persuade. And uh, that's all you can do, people. That is the end of the level. And... You just want to, fingers crossed, that y you've done enough. But by far, one of the most challenging CEO ranks. This is one of the ones you'll probably not get on your first attempt, but with enough practice, you should, you should be able to nail it. 
speaking of nailing it, I was I was listening to the Joe Rogan podcast last night, and they mentioned that like in the the a couple of years back, I mean, you know, not too long, like 10, 20, 30 years ago, there was a, a practice that doctors used where if a woman was suffering from hysteria, which is pretty much a woman just being a psycho bitch, they would actually sexually relieve them, and it was classed as a treatment for that illness. So it was these women that got pent up frustration from, you know, not getting the sexual release and not having an orgasm, that they went kind of hysterical. So the doctor prescribed a quick, you know, bean flicking session, and uh, and actually got your missus off. So I don't know about y'all, but that would not sit well with me. <laughs> and I'm so glad that that shit does not go down anymore. <laughs> but there's the CEO rank, 308,000. It's it's pretty tight one, but fingers crossed you should be able to get that shit done. So thanks for watching, and you take care now.